Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Uh, most are willing the world will have free course and the most are God Yahweh but I say Yahweh will be glorified even as it is through the saints right now you, you're asking about the judgment of the Lord right let me, let me get a uh, second second Ezra chapter 9 and start at verse 7 because right because you I, I know you're saying Christ rebuked Peter because after the, uh, he told him go buy a sword so on and so forth he rebuked Peter it's because right now we're in a time of what Time of grace. Grace, grace. Right. Bring us up. This is 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7. Right and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works right. and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils right. and shall see my salvation in my land right. and within my borders for I have sanctified them for, for me from the beginning. Now, everybody who will be saved is because through their faith and through their works by keeping the commandments. Right? That's how they're going to be saved when the time is coming, when the end comes. Go ahead. They shall be, they, they shall be, they be, then shall they be in a pitiful case. Then what? Then shall they be in a pitiful case. Now the others, they're going to be in a pitiful case. Go ahead. Which now have abused my ways. Which what? Which That's now what? have abused my ways. Right, right? And they that have cast them away despitefully right. Right. shall dwell in torments. Shall what? Shall dwell in torments. Right. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, and they that, what? And they they that, that have loathed my law, they that hate my law, who don't want to keep the commandments of God, right? Go ahead. While they had yet liberty, well, what? while well, they, they had, had yet liberty, had, right? you know and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, as what? And, and yet place of repentance was open unto them. Because right now, place of repentance is open unto us. This is the time right now. This is the time of repentance. You don't come back, repent, start keeping his commandments of the Lord as an Israelite man and woman. What's going to happen to you? But despised it, right. the same must know it after death by pain. Right. Like the same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain. That's right. That's what's going to happen. God said, listen, you don't want to keep my commandments. Judgment is coming. Death and pain is coming. Right? Keep bringing this up. Now this is this is 61 and you're gonna start at the top. This is the gospel. What's the gospel? What's Can, the gospel? Yeah, the good news. Oh uh, that Jesus has come to die. Right. That there's forgiveness for our sins through his blood. Right. Bring this up. Now there's something that's missing from that. Keep bring it. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. Right. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Right. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings right. unto the meek. He hath set me to bind up the brokenhearted, right. to proclaim liberty to the captives, right. and opening of the prison to give the, it's like, to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, right. to comfort, to proclaim, what? to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance to, of our God. The day of vengeance is part of the gospel. Right. That's part of the gospel. That's that's why also in Isaiah 63 he says the day of vengeance. That's that, that he's waiting on that because that's part of the gospel. We have to understand that Christians, we, Christians, they love to play on that. Oh, love, lovey dovey. One God is a man of war. God is a man of war. He wants to avenge his people, and the saints they know that. The saints they're waiting on that time. When when the Lord gonna come and avenge them, right? Let me get uh actually let me get Sirach forty one and so that's sixteen. Let me you go Sirach forty two and so we gonna hold the top. This is Sirach chapter forty one and verse sixteen. Right no. Therefore be shamefaced according to my word. Now, Christians they say we gotta be because you were saying that earlier we gotta be shamefaced we gotta be humble mercy so love so on and so forth. But God said this right here. God said this right here. Bring this up. For it is not good to retain all shamefacedness. What God said? For it is not good to retain all shamefacedness. It's not good to retain all say what does that mean? That means it's not all it's not good to always be humble at all times. That's right. It's not always good. He's gonna tell you why. Neither is it altogether approved in everything. Right? Because it's not approved in everything. There's there's a time under the heaven. Let me get let me get uh real quick. Hold this real quick. Let me get um Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. 
He just said, you're going to keep going up. Because God, understand, you got to understand the Most High God, he's a man of balance. He teaches us, he teaches, and we're going to get into that too. He teaches, he's teaching us how to war. Right, bring it up. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time. To what? To everything there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born. A time to be born. And a time to die. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up. That which is planted. A time to kill. And a time to heal. A time to kill. And a time to heal. So you see that? There's... A time to for everything. There's, there's a time to kill. There's a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to break down and a time to build up. So God is dealing with balance. There's always two to everything. Right? But keep going on that. So he says it's not always good to be humble and, and deal with people thinking that it's all, it's all good. Because I know you were you were talking about other camps. Everybody got their, their, got their way to bring out the, the word. And, some and sometimes you have to rebuke people. Christ rebuked a lot of people. I know when people read the scripts, think that Christ is talking. Yes. But when he's calling up first, his vipers. You think he's saying, you're a viper, man. He said, you're a damn viper, man. Get out of here, man. Right, right. When he was flipping the table, tables and whatnot, what, what was it? You think he just, uh, help me. Nah, man, he's just going around and flipping the damn tables, man. Right. right? So there's a time for everything. But keep going. Verse 17, be ashamed of whoredom right. before father and mother right. and of a lie before a prince and a mighty man. Right now, he's saying be ashamed of whoredom. Of course, we got to, when we see whores and sluts and our women slutting around and stuff, we got to be ashamed of that. We got, we can't keep the, we can't, man. God said to love everybody. Sister, yeah, I love. Nah, hey, sister, you got to stop being a whore, man. You got to stop uh, uh, sliding around. You got to dress more modestly. You got to do what you got to do, what God is expecting of you, right? Go ahead. And of a lie before a prince and a mighty man. Verse 19. And of theft in regard of the place where thou sojournest. What the Bible say? And of theft in regard of the place where thou sojournest. And of theft regarding the place where we're at. This is a this is stolen land. God said, don't be same face about that. Of course we go. Every time we see the white man, we tell I tell the white man, this is your stolen land, you got them thief. This is stolen land. I can't be like, okay, God did. Now, nah, I mean, let me get Isaiah. Uh, hold this again. Isaiah chapter 10. You're going to start at verse uh, 5. Because God, God doesn't play with that, man. God is a man of war. You got to remember that. There's balance with everything. Jesus is, now is a time of repentance for the Israelites. It's time That's for right. us to come back and, right. and, and stop sinning. But not, at the same time, it's time for us to get ready for when the, when real the real war the real battle starts to have, uh, um, uh, pops off between us and, and them. Once the uh, Yahweh Jesus Christ come back and he puts he, he gives us that power to fight against our enemies, which is everybody else who's not an Israelite. But bring us up. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 5. Right. Oh, Assyria, the rod of my anger, right. and the staff in their hand is my indignation. Right now, this is the Assyrians. Right, the Assyrians. God says, uh, uh, God had when God was sending them against the Israelites, mainly the Northern Kingdom. Right, He said, "Hey, go, go, go and deal with these guys and devour them." God put the spirit on the Assyrians. And he said, "Go, go, uh, cap, put the Israelites into captivity." Go ahead. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. And the hypocritical nation is us at that time. Go ahead. And against the people of my wrath, right. will I give him a charge right. to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like my, like the myrrh of the street. Now, just like God did to us, our so-called history that we know, but this is our history as well, but people don't know that. But nonetheless, God sent the white men against us and he, would, he sent the Assyrians against us back then too. Keep going. How be it? He, how be, what? How be it? What Bible say? How be it? Meaning, but. Although I sent them, I sent them, right? Now let's see what God said about the Assyrians now. He meaneth not so. What God said? He meaneth not so. He, now he thinks that he's he's the one who, I, I killed the Israelites. I put the Israelites into slavery. This is what he's going to say. Go ahead. Neither doth his heart think so. Right. But it is in his heart to destroy right. and cut off nations, right. not a few. Right, keep going. For he said, are not my princes, like altogether kings. Right. Is not Colon it's like it. Colono right, keep, keep going. as Carchemish right. is not Hamath as Arped right. is not Samaria as Damascus right, keep going. as it's like it. as my hand 
hath found the kingdoms of the idols, right. whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem right. and of Samaria. Right, keep going. Shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria, right. her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Right. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion. Right, now, once the Lord finished finish dealing with the Israelites, what he going to do? And on Jerusalem, right. I will punish the fruit of the sprout. It's like it. Of the stout heart of the king of Assyria. Of the who? Of the king of Assyria. You see that? God said, I put, my, I put the spirit on the Assyrians to go and deal against the Israelites. But once he finished devouring the Israelites, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to punish the, the Assyrians. That's how God deals, man. Let me get Matthew. We can rest right there. Let me get Matthew 18 and 6. We can't be ashamed of, of saying the white man, you going to slavery. I don't know if that's the white man, but the white man, you going to slavery. There's no salvation for the white man. Everything you did to the Israelites, the Most High God going to repay you 20 times fold, man. That's right. 15, 24. No, no, Matthew 18, 18 and 6. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 6. But whoso shall affect one of these little ones which believe in me. Verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offense. What's the Bible say? Woe unto the world because of offense. The Bible says woe unto the world because of offenses. Meaning destruction to the world because of offenses. The word offense all the time. Go ahead. For it must needs be that offenses come. It must need because offense. Everybody... People will always offend. Go ahead. But woe to that man by whom the offense is coming. What the Bible say? But woe to that man by whom the offense coming. But woe meaning destruction to that to that man by whom the offense come. Who offends the Most High God? And when they devour the Israelites, that's an offense. But so to Jeremiah two and three. I have a question. Con, you gonna keep going, alright? Yeah. What's the question? Oh, okay. Um. So the way that you're speaking about white people is you're speaking to them as a nation. And in the scriptures I understand that God uses nations to punish his people. And then he usually destroys the nations afterwards in right. order to prove that he is Lord and not them. Right. But when it comes to salvation, salvation is an individual thing. So if you have white people who are not, who do not align themselves with the nation that they're a part of and they actually see Christ, is there salvation for them? Okay, I got you. We're gonna answer, we're gonna start answering with this. Keep going on 19. Verse 19, and in regard of the truth. Now it says, it says, yo, start again at 19. But it says, you cannot be ashamed regarding these things. Meaning don't hold your peace. You have to let people know, let the whole world know what's going on with this right here. Go ahead. And of theft in regard of the place where thou sojournest, right. and in regard of the truth, and in, of, and in regard of the truth of God and his covenant, and what? In, re in regard of the truth of God and his covenant, and regarding of, of the truth of God and his covenant, that when, because God, all, the whole Bible tells us where, uh, um, uh, uh, prophesies all the covenants. When did the so called white man have a covenant with the Most High God? Nothing. They never did. Let me get, let's get, let, we, well actually they do have a, 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 a heritage. Like Genesis 27 and start at uh, verse 40. They have a heritage like in the book of Genesis. Right, that's where everybody gets their heritage yeah. from. The Arabs, they got their heritage in the book of Genesis. It's, it's, it's exactly, the uh, Israel got it from the book of Genesis. But then we see it going on and we see how everything plays out. We gonna see where uh -oh, what their what their heritage is. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 27 and verse 40. Yeah. And by thy sword shalt thou live. What the Bible say? And by thy sword shalt thou live. That's their heritage. Right? Son at verse 38. Verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, right. Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Right. Bless me, even me also, right. O my father. Right. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Right. And he starts crying. He said, Listen, you only have one blessing. Please bless me. He cried in law like, Go ahead. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, right. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Behold what? Behold, thy, thy dwelling, dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. You know what that means? That means you're going to run the earth. In the last days, you gonna run the earth. Your dwelling gonna be in the fatness of the earth. You gonna have all the goods. Any the white men, they have all the goods. 
All goats go to them, all diamonds, everything. They control the whole world. So that's because that's their blessing in the last days. Go ahead. And of the dew of heaven from above, right. and by the sword shalt thou live. How do they, how do they conquer the whole world? And, and by thy sword shalt world. thou live. And they conquer the whole world by their sword. That's what we know they did. They, they're the only uh, um, nation that drop a damn bomb Hiroshima in, in, in the whole, like, they drop a nuclear bomb. Nobody else ever did that, right? These guys, everywhere they go, they rip, rob, and murder people, uh. right? So that's them right there. Go ahead. And shall serve thy brother. Right? And shall what? And shall serve thy brother. But their latter end is to serve their brother, their brother, which is Jacob. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass right? when thou shalt have the, the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off his neck. And that's what they did once the uh, the re, uh, uh, renaissance the time of renaissance that's when they broke the yoke that's when these guys they actually overthrew us and then these guys they started ruling over us blah 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 they enslaved us all this and then now we're here in 20, so called 2022 go ahead verse 41 and Esau hated Jacob and what and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob see that and God doesn't change that's that's the prophecy this never changed Esau the so-called white man they know. let me get let me get uh, Ezekiel 21 and 3 because the same way because it's the same way we get we everybody got judged you think all of us was wicked when we get when we got brought uh, into slavery everybody was wicked uh, I wouldn't say wicked I would say that uh they fall short of God's glory. Right, right. Everybody sinned, but I'm saying, was everybody living as a wicked man? No, no. I don't so you, so therefore, if you could say that, but nonetheless, the Most High still dealt treacherously with us, right? Yeah. Not treacherously, because he didn't, he didn't, uh, uh, Salaki, he didn't um, betray us, but he dealt uh, harshly. He, he, he was he, just. Right. In his judgment, he was God, just. Yeah. Right. So, same thing for them. Bring this up. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 3 right. and say to the land of Israel right. thus saith the Lord behold I am against thee and will draw forth my sword out of his sheath right. and will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked the and will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked and God he cuts off the righteous and the wicked that's what he did for us so this is the same thing he gonna do for Israel I mean for uh, the so-called white man no, the white men, they don't have no repentance. And who's going to take take that uh, 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 that punishment? The George, George Washington is dead. Abraham Lincoln is dead. All those guys, they dead. Who's up right now is their children. It's their cousins. Their, 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 their nephews, nieces, so on and so forth. Get out, get out. That's who's here right now. That's who got to pay. Just like we had to pay. I didn't do nothing. But I'm here in America, aren't I? Visiting the of their fathers, yeah. Upon the children, exactly. That's what the Mosai does, man. Go back to that. Action. Go to 41, go to, uh, sorry, 41, and then jump up to verse uh, 4. Bible can show. 41 and verse 4. You know. And why art thou against the pleasure of the Most High? Right. There is no inquisition in the grave whether thou hast. Thou have lived ten or a hundred or a thousand years. And that's the pleasure of the Most High, man. The Most High wants to do what he want to do. Don't, don't go against it, but go ahead. The children of sinners, what the, Bible the children of sinners are abominable children. The children of sinners are abominable children. If you're a sinner, hey, hey, these guys, they sin or they do, their children is abom they're abominable. The Most High don't care if the children try to, nah, they're abominable. Go ahead. And they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, right. the inheritance of sinners, sinners' children, right. shall perish. Shall, what? shall, shall perish. perish. Shall, shall perish. perish. Their inheritance is perish. That's what they inherited. Go ahead. And their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. Right. The children will complain of an ungodly father. What the Bible says? The children will complain of an ungodly father right. because they shall be reproached for his sake. Right. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, right. which have forsaken the law of the Most High God. Right. For, 
For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. Ungodly men, sinners, when, when they increase, it's to, for their destruction. America, the white man in Greeks is for his destruction. The same reason he rose up Pharaoh. Go to Romans 9 and uh, start at verse um, 17. Bible can start. Same reason he rose up Pharaoh. That's the same reason America has increased. The white man has increased. So that he can destroy them with a greater destruction. That's what the, that's how the Most High God moves, man. He's a, he's a man of war. That's what he said. He, he means it, God. Romans chapter 9 and verse 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, right. Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, right. that I might show my power in thee, right. and that my name might be proclaimed throughout all the earth. Right. So that's the reason why he rose up Pharaoh. That's the same reason why he rose up the so-called white men. To destroy them. That's why he lets them. Same thing he did with the Assyrians. Go destroy the, my people because they're not, they not keeping my commandments. Oh, you want to destroy my people? I'm about to destroy you because you didn't even give me the glory. You didn't give me, because the most I delivered us into their hands. Same thing as here. We was way stronger, way smarter. We Anything we do is way better than the so-called white man. But yet, nonetheless, we're under them. But now these guys, they magnify themselves above the most high God. They try to say, man, we did this with our own strength. So the most high says this. When you increase, it's for your own destruction. Right? Go ahead. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. Right. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. Right. You can rest right here. When they born is they born unto a curse. So the most high, that's how he's moving. Yes, there's a time for love, but there's a time for war. And God, this Bible, He, he speaks of war, man. So the, when, when the white, the white people are resurrected, they're going to be slaves. Right. I, so, like, so what is hell? What is hell? Like, if they're not saved, aren't they going to hell? Nah. This, this, what is it? Yeah. What is hell? Yeah. What is hell? Right. Okay. That, Let me get. That's why that's our mask. I got you. Let me get Isaiah four. Uh, not, yeah, fourteen and, and one, and then we go. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1 right. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob And will yet choose Israel And set them in their own land And the strangers shall be joined with them And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob And the people shall take them and bring them it Shall bring them to their places And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord right. for servants and hammocks. For what? For, for servants, servants and hammocks. Right. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. They shall what? And they shall take them captives yeah. whose captives they, they were. Right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. They shall what? And, and they, they shall, shall rule over, over their oppressors. So this has to come to pass. They, the Israelites are going to take them captives whose captives they were. And they're going to rule over their oppressors. Now what is hell? Let me get uh, Revelation 20. This is verse 13. Because these guys, right now, this is hell for us. That's what you're going to find out. Hell is a state of being. It's not necessarily, there's, there's no, people say the lake of fire is hell, right? That's what you would say, right? So let's, let's, let's hear it. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and, the, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. Right. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. What happened? And death, death and hell were, were, were cast into the, the lake, lake of fire. fire. Right. This is the second death. This is what? This, this is, is the, the second, second death. death. How could death and hell be cast into the lake of fire and hell is is the lake of fire? Yeah, it's not the same. Right. That means it's, uh, hell is thrown in the lake of fire. Yeah. That means what? Now, I got you. Now, so I'm just I'm asking, yeah, yeah. but uh, let me get Isaiah 66 and start at verse 15. You go. You gonna find out what hell is, cause hell again is this right here. This this is what the death and hell. This is gonna be destroyed. I, uh, this whole society is hell right here. I uh, sometimes I agree with you because when I look at the state of the world and I see how God created human beings initially with conscience and right. intelligence. And we have 
people walking through the streets doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Right. And even me, as a fallen in sin, sometimes like things don't work properly. You know what I mean? Yo, where are you going? I gotta, you gotta call me, bro. Yeah, that's me, all let good. me get, take my phone up there. Uh, I'm sorry. That's all good. Um, so, it's, uh, it's, and I go back to God, I feel states of, of heaven, so to speak. Okay. So what you're saying, it makes sense. And it doesn't make sense to me that God would send a human being to hell to just burn for all eternity. That, like... There's no such place. That's the whole thing. The bottomless pit is it's not hell. The, the, um, it's not hell as we know. Lake of fire is not hell as we think, as people know. And hell is not hell as people think. It's all a state of, state of being. Really, sir. This is Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire right. and with his chariots right. like a whirlwind right. to render his anger with fury. That's the lake of fire that's going to be happening. He's coming with his chariot to render his anger with fury. He's coming with the sword and fire. Yo. That's what he's coming to do to destroy this damn place. He's going to throw hell. How are you going to throw hell, this hell, into uh, the lake of fire? It's by destroying it. This whole society, what they stand for and all that. Go ahead. In his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. For by fire and by his sword. For by fire and by his sword. Will the Lord plead with all flesh. Will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. See that? The slain of the Lord going to be many. That's what. That's that's the beginning. That's the lake of fire right here. Right? That's the lake of fire. Bring this on now. Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 1. Who hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion right. with a cloud in his anger right. and cast down from heaven unto the earth. What the Bible said? And cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger. Did how God cast down unto the he from heaven unto the earth the beauty? Did, was Israel ever in the heavens? so-called the heavens that the third heaven as we know no. this is because when we have when they had the kingdom that's what heaven is when you rule the earth yeah the kingdom of heaven cometh not by observation no 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 no, no it's not i'm not i no, got you what you're but, saying yeah. it come, it's within so on and so forth but nonetheless the kingdom is the earth he get, he only gives them uh, mankind the earth to rule third heaven that's for spirits that's for him and, and his angels and whatnot we, we don't get to, there's no... You never get to go up there? You go up there when you die. Your spirit, because your spirit goes up there. But after, but when you regenerate or when you, your people are born, this is this is where we're at. This is where we're at. Just like um, the Matthew 6, the Our Father prayer. Let your kingdom come on earth, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's what we pray for. Because the kingdom is right here on earth. so much sense, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what Christianity they, they really messed up, messed us up. You know where that doctrine came from? The um hell and all that stuff. That's from Greek mythology. That's literally from these heathens. They intertwine their own stuff with with the Bible. And they say, Oh, we're gonna make it all fit in. Romans, Greeks and whatnot. That's where all that stuff came from. But uh how you press right there? This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Right Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Just like we came down and sat in the dust. That's just like he thrown us from heaven, so from so called from living all good and all that. He made us sit down and, and come down. Same thing that's gonna happen to the daughter of Babylon, which is who? The so called white man. That's who the, the, uh, the virgin daughter. Let me get uh, Wisdom of Solomon 10 and 13. That's who, that's who it is. So he said, come down, read it again. 
Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Right. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Right. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, you know what? thy the nakedness shall be uncovered. Right. And that's what, because a virgin is what? Ne a, a person who's never touched, right? Who never. So that's they. America, the so-called white men, never been touched. So-called. We seen how they destroyed Japan. We see how they destroyed uh, the so-called Middle East. We see when they fight amongst one another. True, there's some destruction, but they don't really destroy themselves. They built up and so on and so. Nobody, no other nation, ever touched them. I've never seen any. Any nation from the south like invade Europe. Or... Right. Nobody ever touched them. That's why he said you you're a virgin. You're the you're the vir let, let me get Psalm 137, so that's six, actually. Start at that. Hold that one. That's what that's who he's talking to. He's letting them know, hey man, you gotta get touched. You gonna come down. Dude, you rule you rule the whole earth. You you in heaven, right? But now you're gonna go to hell. You we about to make your life a living hell, literally. That's what hell is. That's what that's what heaven is as well for the Israelites. Psalm chapter one thirty seven and verse six. No. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, it's like my chief uh, joy. Right. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Remember who? Remember, remember O Lord, the children of Edom. Children of Edom, remember them. Go ahead. And the day of Jerusalem, who said. Raise it, raise it, right. even to the foundation thereof. Right. O daughter of Babylon, oh, who? O daughter of Babylon, oh, who? O daughter of Babylon. That's Esau, Edom. You're, they're the daughter of Babylon because they follow after the so-called Babylonians. Everything that ba Babylonians did, they, they, the Edomites, they do. That's how they rule this damn place. Go ahead. Who are to be destroyed. Who are to be destroyed. Who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. There's destruction. There's destruction in the Bible. God is not, he doesn't love everybody. There's a lot for everybody. That's right. Everyone got their, got their lot over here, man, in the scriptures. And God, and you cannot cross your lot with this lot. You cannot say, I'm now, I'm, I'm part of this. Nah, you can't say, you can't do that. You got to stand up for the truth of the Lord. You got to stand up for the truth of the Bible. The Bible says the white man going to get killed. Jesus hates the white man. That's what it says. That's what it means. Right. We can't say if they repent. If they, There's no repentance for them. Read Hebrews 12 and 16. Ain't no repentance for them. When, they, when, when Esau was crying to Isaac, don't you have a blessing for me? He said, okay, yeah, your blessing is the sword and you're going to live in, uh, in the last days. You're going to live in the fatness of the earth, but then you're going to lose it. You gonna serve your you gonna serve your brother. So, so what am I okay? In the in the from the perspective of an individual, we know that when a person comes to Christ and they right. submit themselves to to Him, they're led into obedience of the law, and that obedience to the law it transforms a person's life so that they can live fruitfully. Right? True. Now, what am I to say? Because I have a lot of white friends, and they're in the world, they're doing drugs and stuff like that. They're always coming to me for advice, and I give them biblical advice. Mm -hmm. What what am I to say? Oh, like you're not God can't do anything with you. You can't give up drugs or whatever. You that's it. You're going to you're going to be our slave. I got you. What now, am I to say to them? Now, now I got you. Now you are in an advantage of them. There's a reason why they always coming to you because you're an Israelite man. That, that your spirit says, they, yo, this brother, this something. Their spirit tells them, yo, there's something special about this man. He knows something that I don't know, right? Oh, yeah. That's what we, that's what all the heathens supposed to do. Let, let me get Micah chapter six and start at verse one. Bring it out. That's what all the heathens supposed to do, but nonetheless, their judgment is still their judgment. You can't if you want if you now if you want to use wisdom, if you want to use wisdom, you're gonna keep them because you know this their this their um, kingdom, so they. They can give you some perks, so on and so forth. You can, yeah, I'm that serious. You can use them. That's what they use us for. Like a kind of uh, 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 Joseph. Uh, right, right, right. All our forefathers, they did that. Daniel did that. Joseph did that. Countless, they, King David did that. 
when he was um, being chased by King Saul, he went, I believe, by the Philistines. He was acting like a crazy guy, and then they, they let him in, and then once they let him in, he has uh, he has safe passage away from King Saul. So you could you could use, but you have to know who they are. Don't be fooled, and don't start spreading nonsense to them, making them think that they can have salvation. You could just let use them, so on and so, just like they use you. Because right. they're using you for, for, for I'm not, advice. I'm not going to use them. I mean, that's what they're doing. They're using you. They're using right. you for advice. Right. That's what they're doing. They're using, uh, uh, they're using Jay-Z to entertain them. They're using uh, um, uh, Michael, well, Michael Jordan well, well, for sales. Well, well, they're using us for everything. Why do, why, do we look up, why do we look up to God? Because God, God possesses intelligence. God is holy. He is in righteousness. He, is, he embodies the supreme standard of being. Right. So, if we are made in the image of God, and white people, right, if they look at us in that way, then they're not trying, like, I, I won't use them. What I'm doing is I want to spread that supreme righteousness that I receive and give it to them. I don't want to use them. I got you. But you can't do that right now or in a sense of the, the ultimate supreme righteousness. You can't really spread it to them because you have to get yourself right first. You got to no, start. I, I mean in a simple way like what Jesus did when he gave people knowledge and he gave people wisdom. I don't want to like give white people for the sake of the, the example i don't right. want to do things for white people or help them because i want something from them i want to do it because that's the character of god no 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 god no, no, is no. God. Paul, when paul paul used wisdom when he was in front of that edomite uh what was his name hey that the, the roman uh, what, what was his name Nah, nah, not not Harold, but even yeah, Agrippa, right? King Agrippa. So it's not when Paul, hold on, when Paul was in front of King Agrippa, he 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 told he used wisdom, he talked nice to him, so on and so forth, because King Agrippa had the power to uh, uh um judge him, to kill him, right? To kill him, right? But but nonetheless, he didn't. But he knows salvation is not for him. But I'm talking about people, I'm talking about white people who are in the gutter. Right, 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 right. Or, or even white people who are like, I have rich, I've had rich But check it, but before. even those that's in the gutter, imagine you're walking around and then in a white, predominantly a white neighborhood. Yeah. If they see you with them, oh, okay, that's his friend. But if they see you by yourself, what you doing here, boy? And then once, once and then if they come up next to you, they're like, oh. That's the, do you know this man? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my friend, so on and so forth. Like, okay, you good. You could use them like that. I'm not saying for, for you to go get money from them, so on and so forth. Our reparation gonna come from the Mossad. But That's to use right. wisdom, let me get, let me get um, Baruch. You can hold this though. Dishonest. Let me get Baruch. It's not dishonest, cause they, they, they. I know I'm using use, but you're just being wise. At the end of the day, did David? David was David. After David did that. With the Philistines, he he went and killed the Philistines after. After when he got the kingdom, so on and so forth, he had war against the Philistines, against Amalek, against all these guys. But he yeah, used the wisdom. Phil the Philistines were like hostile, hostile people. But nonetheless, like, but nonetheless, hey, David used wisdom. He acted like a crazy. Oh, this King David, he went crazy. Oh, okay, he good. King David knew what <laughs> he he act crazy, but nonetheless. Hey, he went back and after when he got his kingdom, they had war. They had war. I'm so, hey. To, uh, bring this up. What I call it? it Baruch, Baruch 3 and uh, 36. Baruch chapter 3 verse 36. Yo. He hath found out all the way of knowledge right. and hath given it unto Jacob. Unto, who? unto Jacob. Right. The Most High God gave all the knowledge unto Jacob. Go ahead. His servant. Right. And to Israel, his beloved. And to Israel, his beloved. Right. Afterward, that he show himself upon earth and converse with men. God, so he gave all the knowledge and wisdom to Jacob and to Israel. Nobody else. You have to be able to be wise as a, what Christ said, wise as a serpent. Yeah. You got to be wise like a serpent is a snake. Bite you in the back without you slivering. You got to be wise like that. Christ himself said that. Wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. Right. We're not telling you to go do anything, anybody harm, but you have to be wise out here, right? But we'll um, go to yeah, Micah 6 and uh, so, hold on, I, 
Let me go to the microphone. Let me see. Four. Go to four. Four and two. I believe that's what I want. Let me see. It's a lot, kid. Right. Four and two. Micah chapter 4 and verse 2. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord right. and to the house of the God of Israel, right. like of the God of Jacob, right. and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. See that? That's, was, that's what the other nation is supposed to do. They're supposed to cleave unto us. They're supposed to say, Come. And, and that's what they're going to say once, once we're back in, in power. Cause they now, right now, they see us as just niggas. They never gonna submit to us. They're supposed to, but they never gonna do that because we're at the bottom. So once they see, once we're glorified, this is in the last days. They're not in, this is when the kingdom come. Once the kingdom come, they see, hey, we're ruling. We have the true power. We see, they see Christ, the so-called black man, crack the sky, so on and so forth. And they're gonna see, they're gonna say, oh, let's go, let's go up to him. But that's all after the battle of Arm uh, Armageddon. That's all, after all these battles, after they see that they cannot prevail against us, that's when they're going to say, man, we got to submit to these guys. 